at a certain point you stop becoming what I call just simply a practitioner of the art, but you become what I call bearer of the tradition. And with that, there's a responsibility to pass it on to people who are interested in learning. Taiko is now American. It's Pan-Asian. It's really, you know, culturally and ethnically diverse. We gotta make sure that we pass along the right information and the right respect and integrity. You know, because you want to try to make sure that other cultures understand what we're trying to say in one sense. But to do it in a way that's very, very respectable. It takes a lot of work bringing people together, but we feel that it's really needed in order to know where we came from, where is it going, and if we can kind of pass on and be responsible for the fundamental elements of that taiko essence.